Hi guys. Um, lots of people uh, ask me this question about astrology. Um, now, the order of the planets in astrology is the true order of, of the planets in the geocentric plane we live in. And that, and that order is this. <clears throat> Saturn, old man time at the top. The so-called seventh sphere. Then below him is his son, Zeus or Jupiter. Then Mars. Then the Sun, then Venus, then Mercury, then the Moon. So, why don't we have uh, this set up for the days of the week? Saturday, Thursday, Tuesday, Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, Monday. Okay, you can see clearly Sat, Saturn Day, Saturn, the Sun, Moon. The others are more disguised because they're using the Nordic names, the Germanic names, like Thursday, Thor, Thursday. So we get a little bit confused, but in Italian it's perfect. You know, they, they've got all the corresponding planets with the corresponding uh, days. But hang on, we know that following Saturday is Sunday. And following Sunday is Monday. Then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday. Notice that pattern? What's this pattern? Jump four, jump four. Go back to Mars, which is four, again, absolutely four. Jump four, jump four, jump four. How do we get that? Well, this is how it's done, guys. The seven-pointed star. Okay, I'm slightly better. I did a really good one before. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So what we do now is we're going to put this order around the star, okay? We're going to put the same order. I want to. I like to start with the top. Saturday, um, Saturday, Jupiter. All right, uh, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, and Moon. So you can see we are retaining we are retaining this this order here. Saturn's the most outer planet that's visible, so-called planet. Uh, Twenty-nine years to go around the ecliptic. Jupiter, twelve years. That's why Jupiter Zeus, G Zeus, has got 12 disc eyeballs. Because Jupiter rules 12, it takes him 12 years to go around the ecliptic. Mars, two years. Sun, one year. Jupiter, 228 days. Mercury, 88 days. Mm, 88. And the Moon, 29 days. 29 years, 29 days. So these, this is the order of the Russian doll type setup that we live on. Um, I'll do that at the end. But... So I've retained that, okay, starting from Saturn, the top boss, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon. Exactly the same as the order of the Ptolemaic system. So how do we get um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? See, this should be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, it's like this, you see, what, should, what we do is we go Saturday, jump for Sunday, jump for Monday, jump for Mars, jump for Mercury, Jump for Jupiter, jump for Venus. So, what we've got is exactly what it is. It's showing you here. Saturn, the boss, followed by Sunday. Saturn day, followed by Sunday. Followed by Moon day, followed by Tuesday, followed by Wednesday, followed by Thor's day, and finishes up with Venus. Okay, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so how does this all work with this? Well, it's quite simple. That's the Earth. Moon is first. Mercury. 
Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond that is what's called the eighth sphere, which is called the firmament. Yeah, so check the firmament out in the scriptures, especially the Bible. This is the eighth, and this has got the zodiac belt in it. Um, it's called the eighth sphere, the firmament. And it's ruled by Uranus, the heavens. Okay, so there you have the order, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon. And we saw how to get that, um, that staggered relationship to the days of the week, guys. It's all science. And you might think, well, why did they scramble that up? That's not right. That's not proper. Yes, it is. That's how it works. Um, the seven planets distribute their energies via their natural inclination to transition from one day to another. Although this is also a similar... And they go together. So um, this is how the deacons also work. Okay, so the first deacon of Aries is Mars. Then the second one is the Sun. Then the third one is Venus. First deacon of Taurus is Mercury, followed by Moon, followed by Saturn. First deacon of uh, Gemini is Jupiter. Second, Mars. Third, Sun. First deacon of Cancer, Venus. Then Mercury, then the Moon. Now, this is one deacon system, but there is another one. Uh, over in the uh, east in Vedic astrology, they do it like this. The first air, um, deacon of Aries is Mars, correct, then Sun, correct, but then they've got uh, Jupiter in here, and you go, whoops. How does Mars transition to Sun and transition up here to Jupiter? Okay, well, that's because... Um, they have a different system. What they do, here's the zodiac. And you've got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. So what they've done is they've given the first, this is the fire, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So what they've done is they've given the, the first deacon of Aries to Mars because Mars is the ruler of Aries, then the Sun because the, it's the ruler of Leo, and then Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. So that's how they've worked their um, deacons, which is a great system as well because now that retains only fire deacons in Mars. And then Taurus gets the same treatment. It's only Earth deacons. So this Eastern Vedic system is very good. In the West they also acknowledge this. But uh, primarily the deacons run the course of, of the, uh, the um, I would say, declination. Yeah, I don't know how to put it. But the, uh, um, yeah, the reducing of the planet's orbits. And that makes sense as well. All right, so today you've seen three systems. Thank you very much. Tune in for the next one.